So you have your first example running on your thing plus matter, and now you're ready to do something more advanced involving matter. Let's talk about what you need for that. You'll need a smart hub of some kind that supports matter. In this case, we're using a Google Nest Hub 2. And because we're using Google, we also have an Android device for the setup process. You'll need your thing plus matter and connected to a computer with a USB cable. Let's talk about the setup process for the thing plus matter. You'll need Simplicity Studio installed on your computer. If this is your first time working with the Thing Plus Matter, take a look at our hookup guide and follow the instructions on the software setup section to get Simplicity Studio installed with all the default packages. Once you've done that, you'll also need to install the Matter extension. Open Simplicity Studio and click the Install button in the top left corner. Then click Manage Installed Packages, and then click the SDKs tab in the top left corner. You should see the Gecko SDK already installed, and then down here we have the extensions available. Go ahead and click Install on the Saga Labs Matter extension, then click OK. Then once the installation finishes, you can close this window to return to the main Simplicity Studio screen. Make sure your Thing Plus Matter is plugged in, then you should see it show up in the debug adapters in the top left corner, and it should bring you to this screen. Under the Example Projects and Demos tab, we can filter by Matter projects, and we can see there's two different options here. One is a demo. This is the pre-compiled matter binary that we could flash straight to the board by clicking the Run button. Or the actual project source code itself can be created when you hit the Create button here. When this window opens, you can leave all the defaults or set the names as you want. Then click the Finish button to actually build the project. Then once the project is created, we are brought to this window here. If you want to poke around in here, some things to highlight is under the configuration tools, you'll want to look at the Zigbee cluster configurator, and this shows all of the endpoints available for the device itself. You can also see on the left here, we have the actual source code for the project itself, and you can jump through all of this to see how it all works. We'll leave everything as defaults and build the project for the board. One simple option for doing that is on the project explorer on the left, right click the project folder, then click the run as button, Silicon Labs ARM project. This will compile and flash the board automatically in one click. Once that's done, we also need to flash a bootloader to the board. Go back to the Launcher tab in the top right, and then scroll down to the section where we have bootloaders for the MCU. And then we can scroll down and look for the SOC internal storage single image on 512 kilobyte device. Click Create Project, and it's the same process as before. We can leave all the defaults, then click Finish to create the project. Once that's done, it's the same process as before. We just need to compile and run the project on the board. That's all we need to do for flashing the board. Now we're ready for pairing to a Matter Hub. Now let's talk about the process for setting up your Google Nest Hub. If you're using a different ecosystem, the process will be slightly different, but it should be relatively similar. All Matter devices have a certificate to prove they are a genuine Matter device. However, the code we just flashed to the board has a test certificate. Some ecosystems are allowing test certificates by default, some are not. Google is currently declining test certificates unless you add it to your Google Developer Console. To enable the test certificate, you'll need to go to console.home.google.com and sign into the same Google account that your hub is connected to. Then click Create a Project, and down here, Create Project. Unless you already have one, you can reuse that. You can name the project whatever you like. In this case, I will name it Matter Test. Then click Create New Project. Then once it loads, click on Add Matter Integration. There are some resources available if you want to use them, but we'll skip past them and click the Develop button. This checklist here is if you're creating a properly certified device, but we will skip past this for now. Click on Setup. Here we need to enter some information about the device. We'll give it a name. In this case, I will name it My Light, And then we can select the type as a light device. Then we can scroll down. We will leave the test vendor ID selected, and then the test vendor ID and the product ID we can get from the board itself. To do this, make sure your board is connected to your computer through USB, and then open any serial terminal of your choice. In my case, I like to use PuTTY, and I will select Serial. I happen to know it's on COM36, and the baud rate is always 115200. Then I'll click Open, and in the prompt here, if we type in Help, we can see all the commands that are available to us. To get the vendor IDs and the product IDs, type in the config command. And you can see down here, we have the vendor ID and the product ID in both decimal and hexadecimal. In this case, we need the hexadecimal numbers, and we can enter these into the developer console. The test vendor ID is already correct at FFF1, and the product ID needs to be 0x8005. Now click Save and Continue. If you want to, you can upload some images for your product, but we will skip past that for now, and click the Save button. Once that's done, now your Google Nest Hub will accept the test certificate from the board. While we're here, we will also need to get a QR code to commission the board properly. 
reopen that serial terminal and type in the command onboarding codes space BLE. This will spit out a URL that will give us a QR code. Go ahead and copy that and paste it into a web browser. This QR code is unique to every project, but not to every device. So if you're using the same example as we ran through here, this will be the same QR code. And now we're ready to move on to the actual setup process. In order to commission our Think Plus Matter to a Google Nest Hub, we need to first have an Android device paired with the Google Nest Hub. We've already done this in advance. Then on the Android device, in the Google Home app, click on the plus button in the top right corner, and then set up a device. Select new device, and then select which home your Google Nest Hub is connected to. Now the phone will start doing a Bluetooth scan and it'll be looking for the Think Plus Matter. Sometimes it will automatically find the device, sometimes it will not. If it doesn't, select Matter Enabled Device at the top. Then we need to scan the QR code. Then click the agreement to connect to the board to your Google Home, and now it will do the commissioning process. This usually takes up to a minute or so. Once it succeeds, you'll see this menu, then we can click the Done button. We need to set the room that it's in, and also set a name for the device. In this case, I will choose My Light. And then it will finish commissioning, and now it shows up in our list of devices. Now in the Google Home app, every time I tap on My Light, you can see the onboard LED of the Think Plus Matter toggles. We can also do the same thing from the Google Nest Hub itself. If we go into here, we can see every time I tap on this, the LED toggles on the Think Plus Matter. And that's the basic process for running this Matter example. If you want to learn more, check out sparkfun.com. Hey Google, turn off my light. Happy hacking, everyone.